As someone who started puberty at a much faster age than those in my grade, I was subjected to a lot of sexual objectification from a young age, and it really got to me, and sometimes it was all I could think about, and it led to a lot of self-confidence issues and low self-esteem. When I was nine, I hated what I saw in the mirror, and I just wanted to look like everyone else, and it did sometimes lead to suicidal thoughts. And how ridiculous is it that a nine-year-old wants to die because of her body? Going to pools were the absolute worst because swimsuit season and beach body took on a whole new meaning for me. I hated going swimming and I still do today. There's so many ways that my negative views on my body still affect me today and I could go on and on if I were to list them. But probably the biggest one and the most hurtful one happened when I was in the sixth grade when I was 10 at school. So I attended a public school in America then and I would walk home from school every day and I wasn't the only one. So there was this guy whose house was on the same street as mine, so we'd walk home together at the same time along with my younger sister, who was seven at the time. And so one day after about four months or so, he made a comment about my chest and my body, and it made me really uncomfortable. But he was laughing, so I laughed. And as a nine-year-old, I didn't know what sexual harassment was, but all I knew that what he's saying made me want to crawl up in a ball and cry and never look anyone in the face again. From that point on, when I met people, I was so self-conscious that all they see me as is the awful, disgusting things that this boy said to me, and I was forced to relive that hell every day for almost a month. I tried everything to just get away from him. I left from a different exit, I ran around the school playground, I waited for 20 minutes before I left the school, and yet he always was there waiting, and he would repeat it over and over and over. And every time he'd laugh, and every time I'd laugh, I was so terrified, but all I could do was try to convince myself it was just a joke. And that's what I told myself while I cried myself to sleep every night.